hello guys welcome back to coding cafe my name is Mohamed Ali and in the previous tutorial as you know that we work on our admin category activity and where we add basically all the categories okay so now what we will be doing is that uh, first of all let me tell you as I told you already that is whenever a user click on any category that is let's say laptops then it will get that laptops category name now by using this category name you will basically store the all the products uh, under each category inside the Firebase database. So for that, first of all, we will uh, design our this activity, okay, which is our admin add new product activity. So here layout and we have our admin activity admin add new product activity. So come here and also let's open the Java file of this, okay, which is admin add new product activity. First of all, uh, remove this toast message, okay, we don't need it here and now click text and here we first of all we need to change this constant layout to the relative layout so first of all we will ask the admin I mean we will get the image of the product from an admin so the admin will add image okay so we can say image view 350 dp 200 dp and the ID for this will be select underscore product underscore image crop to padding and it should be false and scale type should be center crop and the source for this will be the select product image inside the drivable folder okay which is this icon basically camera icon and center horizontal true margin from the top should be 10 dp so yeah that's it after that uh, we will uh, get the product name from the user so for that we need edit text match parent rep content and first of all we have to do the important thing and that is the id of this edit text and this will be the product underscore name product name and it should be below the select profile product image okay so press that id here and now input type should be the text multi-line okay which is this one margin from the top 20 dp padding from all sides 20 dp let's give it some hint and the hint will be product name layout margin starts you can simply write margin and this will give you the suggestion which is layout margin start and it should be 95 dp and margin instead of start let's use margin left okay so we can say margin left it should be 50 dp and margin from the right should also be 50 dp let's add a background for this which is our input underscore design okay so this is here a user will basically write the product name so change the margins to 45 instead of 50 okay 45 will be good now it's look perfect now uh, the next thing is the product description okay or you can say the specification of that product so copy paste this edit text and change this id to description post uh, product description and copy this product name id and paste that here in the layout below you can see this margin top should be 6 dp and here we can say product description here or you can simply write product description and then after that we will add another edit text so copy paste this okay and that edit text will be for the product price so first of all let's change this to product price and here we can say product price 
and let's move it below the product description so copy this and paste that here product price here and yeah now we need a button here so let's add a button also so we can say button match parent rep content and let's give id so the id will be add underscore new underscore product and it should be below the product price let's give some text to this and it will be add product and come here and from here copy this layout left and right okay copy this and paste that here padding will be 17 dp from top the margin will be layout margin top 20 dp text size should be 18 sp text all caps false text color should be white okay so you can say add the red and write white let's add a background to it now so the background is inside the drawable folder which is by the name buttons this one okay so this is our admin add new product activity now next thing is come here and now let's define these so private we have a button and that button name is add new product button then we have uh, three added text the first one is the for the product name or we can give it a name as input product name comma input product description and the third one input product price and now here in our on create view we can just say add new product button equals to button sorry it is image button okay first let me check what we just use image view okay this is the image view no add product button is this one okay and we have an image view for selecting the image of the product so we forgot to add that so here we can just say private image view and here we can say input product image so yeah that's it so now here uh, first of all we can say button find view by id or dot id dot button is add new product then we have image view for selecting the image so it is by the name input product image equals to image view or dot id dot select product image is the id for it then we have input product sorry in product name which is added text product name and let's copy paste this for the time saving we will change it for the other two added text so the next one is input product description and then we have input product price and make sure to change the id for both of these so for the description we have product description and for the price we have product price so yeah now let's test the app so the app is running now successfully now let's go to the login and i am an admin now i will enter and then the password so this is the wrong password for the admin we have set the password i remember which is admin okay now let's click on login admin button welcome admin okay so this is our add new product or you can say that if you take the activity 
now from here if a user click on this laptop it will send us to this activity now what we will do next is that is in the next view tutorial uh, you, uh, admin will basically click on this image view and he will select any product image which he wants to upload, upload okay to the database and we will be basically uh, we will be using the firebase storage for storing the images and files so once the user select the product image and then he will write product name description price and when he click on this add product we will store the image in the firebase storage and the data in firebase database so once we uh, complete this step then we will start working on the user panel where basically user will see all these products and user can search for specific uh, products and also the user can search for the products using uh, different categories which we are creating so yeah that's it for this video and see you guys in the next video and if anyone is new to our channel then please subscribe our channel coding cafe and please like this video and let me know about your uh, suggestions in the comment section down below and don't forget to follow me on my twitter instagram and facebook account by this username bye for now